Shalom, Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukhahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the elder bishops, that great millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So, this your brother Shopper, man. So, <laughs> new wireless brain implants could could bring could bring mind control to new level study, right? You might soon be able to control electronic devices using your using only your mind. Engineers have designed a brain implant that could detect neural impulses and wireless communicate those signals with electronics such as a computer or a smart home device. So pretty much you could put a, 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 a potato chip inside your head and that, that um, C-hip is going to allow, allow you to hook up to your phone and to your computer and all that. Because it's too hard for you to go over there and do it with your hand. <laughs> you got to have this this device inside your head to make it more easier and convenient for you. A recent study published in the Journal of no Nature Electronics shows that scientists are one step closer to an invention that would allow people to control their smart devices and connect to the internet from anywhere they are. So you have people that will say, oh, this technology has been around for years and this and this and that. Yeah, the technology has been around for years, but they have they are perfecting it to where now they are ready to implement it and start putting it inside people and they going to sell it to you as a benefit because they making it sound like it's a wonderful thing right here. Our group in Purdue University has been working in the area of electric field communication around a human body for the past eight years and pi pioneering technologies such as Q EQS, HBC, electroquasiatic human body communication, which is now being commercialized, which is what? Which is now being commercialized. Sharia Sin, the principal investor for the study, told Tech Explore, these technologies could potentially advance both human capabilities as well as medical practices. See? Yeah. Yeah. This technology will combine with further advancements in brain, deep brain wireless power transfer would make it possible to gain functional insight into disorders like Parkinson's, Tourette's syndrome, epilepsy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing for you. Depression, anxiety, and ob obsessive compulsive disorder. By Aptar Chatterjee, <laughs> who led his work as a doc the doctoral student at Purdue, is now on the faculty of the University of Florida in Gainesville. Purdue University created a, a brain chip, brain implant, smaller than a dime that could sense and transmit data in a pairs of headphones and un to a pair of headphones and unlike current um, C-hips, there's no need to connect this one to a computer or any other device. Quasiotic is a term that indicates the neural signal is operating at a relatively low level. Yeah, man. There have been prev they have previously been many trials to link neural signals to an external device, such as so they already doing, like I said, they trying to perfect it such as over-the-ear headphones, but this research is the first to reveal high-band with wireless communications with the implants. Yeah, you're going to be hooked up to the Internet, man. You're going to be hooked up to the Internet. Doctors then thin down the midline skull to improve connections with the implant, which is like 
Elon Musk Neuralink that uses electrodes for connection is untethered to the brain. Yeah, man. Yeah, look, look. They gonna, yeah. Yeah, but GMS was right, man. <laughs> GMS was right. You see it. This is what they, this is where they going, man. And it's on his fingertip. You see how small that thing is? Put, cut you open and, and put that in you. Right here. <laughs> Let's get a couple of scriptures, man. Let's get a couple of scriptures. Heads don't want to see it because they don't want to see it. Or because they was paid not to see it. Meanwhile, vocab out there still talking about stupid shit. <laughs> Bishop, Bishop Nate and them still talking about, oh, we should have one wife. <laughs> Revelation 13, 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or, or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he had the karagma, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Yeah, you gonna sooner or later you gonna have to choose. You gonna have to decide what what side, what team you on. What team you gonna have to decide? And you gonna have to decide. Joshua chapter twenty four and fifteen. Yeah, Joshua 24 and 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, <laughs> whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, this ain't no you don't think that them doing all that, putting a, comp a, a chip, in a person's brain is dumb, acting like they the most high, they God. You don't think that? You don't think that? You don't think that? Or oh, we'll be able to, everything, any problems, issues that you got going on with this little device embedded inside your brain, we'll be able to take and, and, and hit some... And, and boop, bingo, 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 we fixed you. You don't think that's playing God? <laughs> the second Thessalonians 2 or 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, and that man of sin be revealed. That sin is transgression of the law. That man of sin be revealed. Wouldn't an uh, uh, operation, no cuttings in your flesh. That's in the law, right? And so what would you have to do to take that device? You would have to transgress the law, which would be sin. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the most high, or that is worship, so that he, as the most high, sitteth in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it at? Oh, yeah. Hey, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy him with the brightness of his coming. Yeah. Yeah. Consume him with the with the brightness of his mouth. It is right here. Where is it at? Six and five. Hosea six and five. Therefore have I hewn them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. The prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth. And thy judgments are as the light that go forward. Yeah. Hewn them by the words of the, the mouth. The, the, the mouth. Hewn them with the words of, of the prophets. That's the Lord speaking. That's the Lord speaking. When you coming out and you rightly divide the word of truth. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Yeah. This is it right here. Deceivableness right here. <laughs> this is deceivableness. This is for your this is for for the improvement of mankind. This is gonna help. 
This is going to help make mankind better. We only here to help you guys out. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> and a couple more scriptures. Hey, get, get, Got to get some scriptures. Got to bring some scriptures. Tie it all in. Red letter. Red letter. Yahweh Shai speaking. Matthew 6 and 24. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Yeah. You can't you can't have two masters, man. You can't have two masters. And the scriptures clearly say that if you choose you choose wrong, you're gonna pay. You choose wrong, you're gonna pay. Revelation twenty and four. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of the Most High and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. So, yeah, so we're going to be tried. You going uh, uh, Not everybody, some shall not taste death. But some of us that choose to choose the Lord, they, this system ain't going to like that. This system not going to like that. And they going to come after you. They going to come after you. First came, they going to come after you. They going to come after you. So you telling me something you, you know, you, you, um, something that's beneficial to me. You going to come and bring it to me and point a gun at me to take it and <laughs> do it. That's pretty much what they did with the Jabberinio, man. First Kings 18 and 20. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long how ye between two opinions? How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be power follow him but if Bial then follow him and the peace people answer him not a word yeah you won't have to choose man you won't have to choose man nothing new under the sun you won't have to choose you won't have to decide man you gonna have to decide is you gonna get with that device or not they gonna put the pressure on you they gonna apply the pressure they gonna apply the pressure and we want it y'all we blowing the trumpet we doing our part we coming out here, we doing the lessons, we pointing out, yo, that this is against the scriptures, man. And so when they bring it to you, okay, choose wisely. Deuteronomy 29 and 18. Least there should be among you, you man or woman or family or tribe whose heart turneth away this day from the Lord our power to go and serve gods of these nations Least there should be among you a root that bear gall and wormwood. And it come to pass when he hear of the words of this curse that he bless himself in his heart saying, I shall have peace <laughs> though I walk in the imagination of my own heart to add drunkenness to thirst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord will not spare him, but then the anger of the Lord and his jealousy, jealousy, shall smoke against that man and all the curses that are written in this book shall lie upon him and the lord shall blot out his name from under heaven huh <laughs> yeah because they look so we gave you, you, you we gave we gave it to you so here's what what the law gonna get this is what the law good the lord the, the, let's go revelation i think it's nine 14 and 9, 14 and 10. Yeah, 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, or, or, or and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. 
and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Yeah. Better choose wisely, Israel. Better choose wisely, because the Lord going to get you. You choose, you choose Team Esau, you're going to get Team Burnt Up. You're going to get Team Burnt Up. Acts 11 and 23. Who, when he came and had seen the grace of the Most High, was glad and exalted them all, that with purpose of heart, that they would cleave unto the Lord. Cleave unto the Lord. Don't cleave unto eat to, to, to this technology. Don't cleave onto this technology. Don't don't get in your heart that, oh, yeah, by me doing this, I'll be able to control my smartphone. I'll be able to log on and all of that stuff like that and this and that. Don't choose this. Don't choose this, Israel. <laughs> so with that one, we're going to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukha Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the elder bishops at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yashirala, and the Baba Baba, Rakatham family, Shalom.